हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश एम्बिशन आई एम काकोली मैम एंड आई होप माई चैनल द वीडियोज आर हेल्पिंग यू इमेंसली यू आर बींग बेनिफिटेड बिकॉज बिलीव मी दैट वॉज द एंटायर पर्पज और द होल सोल रीजन फॉर माई स्टार्टिंग दिस यूट्यूब चैनल दैट माई स्टूडेंट्स वुड बी बेनिफिटेड बाई वॉट एवर नॉलेज आई हैव एंड आई वुड बी एबल टू हेल्प दैम सो दैट दे लर्न इंग्लिश इजीली एंड दे गुड गेट वेरी गुड मार्क्स इन देयर एग्जामिनेशन सो आई होप माई पर्पज इज बींग फुलफिल्ड एंड माई चैनल इज एक्चुअली हेल्पिंग यू to get through your examination or get your targeted marks uh, my children my students actually they tell me in person they send me text also they tell me also that it's been very helpful but i would also like to hear from others with whom i am not directly in touch so please put your comments below it would be actually motivating for me and moreover as i always say that please subscribe my channel and share it with all your friends so that everybody gets the benefit of the videos that i am posting today i am doing a very beautiful chapter from flamingo uh, called the rat trap it is written by uh, a lady author selma lejelof and she is a very famous author and some one thing we have to remember about her at least that she was the first female author to get nobel prize so that's something remarkable okay so we have to remember that now as we can see from the name of the chapter the rat trap simple first we have to understand the real meaning of it later on obviously i will tell you the symbolic meaning of it but now rat trap is a typical rat trap the metallic iron rat trap i think most of us have seen sometime or the other in our houses that we keep for catching rats that intrude into our houses okay now what is the theme of this story let's see that Selma Lejelof you know had a belief so throughout her uh, most of the stories we find two philosophies are running what is it number 1 she believed that human beings are intrinsically good what is the meaning of that that human beings are good to the core of their heart it is the circumstances the upbringing the conditions in which they grow that make them uh, you know bad or cynical or maybe immoral so basically in the core of their heart they are good it is only hidden it is only latent or suppressed this is first point number 2 the theme is that through some unconditional a uh, love or compassion or understanding that hidden uh, goodness can be easily awakened okay if that man who uh, seems to be unethical or immoral or not that good gets a real touch of compassion understanding and love maybe or surely rather he will transform into a good kind and uh, an ethical moral person so this is what the story is all about as the story begins we see that there was a rat trap seller okay he is the protagonist of the story what is the meaning of the word protagonist the central character we have to know these terms children okay i have repeatedly used maybe you know also in case abhi tak aap logo ko nahi pata hai ye humko pata rakhna hai kyunki question paper mein aise words aayenge to then you have to know otherwise you will get confused so the protagonist of the story is a rat trap seller his name is not given his real name is not given so we will call him either by a rat trap seller or by a peddler kyunki wo rat trap sell karta tha to wo peddler or a vagabond we will also call him as a vagabond what is the meaning of the term vagabond a person who doesn't have a home and who moves from one place to the other 
Okay, so our rat trap seller didn't have a home. He was very poor. I'm coming to that. And he was thus called also a vagabond. So, if we have any term in the question paper, we have to understand that we are talking about rat trap seller because he has no name of a particular name. Okay? As the story begins, we see that this rat trap seller used to sell rat trap or wo wo rat traps khud hi banata tha. ठीक है वो ये आयरन मिल्स से और आयरन फैक्ट्री से ही वुड ब्रिंग द रॉ आयन एंड ही वुड मेक द रैट ट्रैप्स हिमसेल्फ अच्छा वन मोर थिंग दैट आई विल टेल यू ओवर हियर द सेटिंग ऑफ द स्टोरी इज स्वीडन ओके एंड देयर दे हैव लॉट ऑफ आयरन प्रोडक्शन एंड लॉट ऑफ आयरन मिल्स एंड आयरन फैक्ट्रीज ओके सो ही वुड इजिली गेट आयन बट ही वुड नॉट बाय देम बहुत कैटेगरिकली बताया गया है स्टोरी में कि ही वुड बेग देम है ना ही वो मांग के लाता था वो एंड विद दो आयन ही वुड मेक रैट ट्रैप्स एंड सेल नेक्स्ट वॉट वी गेट we understand that in spite of that his business was not very profitable hai na to he was very poor three things have been told again over here he was very thin you know he had sunken cheeks because usko khana nahi milta tha he would wear a uh, ragged clothes tattered torn purana phata hua kapda pehenta tha and the third thing is hunger would gleam in his eyes that means he would look hungry if you look at his eyes he would look that he was hungry okay one more thing because his business was not flourishing or a proper business it would not give him proper meal per day he would do two more things very important number one he would beg number two he would steal okay so he would indulge either in begging or in petty thievery petty matlab chota mota small thievery stealing okay now as we move on we see that when the man would walk alone in the streets it was obviously a very painful existence for him okay he had no family he had no house to live nobody to talk to so he was a lonely poor man and as he would walk he would often think a lot of things bahut sare cheeze uske dimag mein ghumta rehta tha ऐसे करते करते वन डे अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड फिलोसॉफिकल थॉट केम इन हिज माइंड व्हाट वाज इट ही थॉट दैट जस्ट द वे आई एम सेलिंग रैट ट्रैप ऐसे ही द होल वर्ल्ड इज अ रैट ट्रैप हाउ सी जस्ट एज द रैट enters our rat trap being tempted by some food that we keep in the rat trap and the moment the rat enters the rat trap closes on the rat and he or the rat is trapped in the rat trap forever it cannot come out until unless we open and throw it or whatever same way he thought that the world is also a rat trap why because all the human beings are chasing something or the other there is a bait bait means some kind of temptation what is it like maybe for somebody it is money it is luxury for somebody it is power and position so we all are chasing something or the other and we are all trapped in the rat trap so he thought the world is a rat trap and everybody is trapped in it okay the world with all its riches and joys and uh, shelter and money and power and position are just like baits temptations and the moment of somebody starts chasing it or he is trapped in that vicious cycle and there is no exit so this was a very interesting thought that came in his mind now here i'll tell you this is on page 33 children over here so this is that explanation and it can come as a short question so we have to be ready with this uh, question okay so what was the thought that came in his mind how did he compare the rat trap to the world is that the questions are sakte hai so we have to be prepared with this okay so as i do the chapter i will tell you the short questions as i always do in all my chapters ki kahan pe kaun se chote chote questions aa sakte hain the long questions i will do at the end as i always do 
Now, next paragraph, if we move, the author says that this gave him tremendous joy. He started thinking of the world or the people of the world being trapped in the rat trap and it gave him some unwanted joy that means some evil pleasure some evil satisfaction or um, sadistic pleasure sadistic pleasure is jab dusro ki koi you know harm karke humko khushi milti hai like dusri takleef mein hai mujhe khushi mil rahi hai so somehow usko ye milne laga so he started thinking about all the people whom he knew of ki that person is also trapped in a rat trap that person is about to be trapped in a rat trap to ye hamesha sochta rehta tha aur usko kahin na kahin ek evil pleasure milta tha because he used to think that chalo i am not only the person who is in trouble ye bhi trouble mein hai wo bhi trouble mein hai aisa and moreover the whole world was never kind to him the world was a cruel place for him because every time you know people chased him away nobody was kind to him so he had gave him a lot of pleasure to think of the people of the world in a a uh, sorry state or in sad condition okay so this became his favorite pastime ab ho sakta hai question that what became his favorite pastime and why so ye jo cheez maine explain kiya abhi ye humko batana padega okay so uh, thinking of the world as a rat trap became his favorite pastime and why you have to explain theek okay? hai so one evening he was walking and he needed a shelter for the night why i told you he doesn't have a home he was a homeless vagabond so as he was walking suddenly he saw a gray cottage he knocked at the door and surprisingly the man who opened the door was very welcoming to him but why did i say surprisingly kyunki generally wo jab bhi kahi jata tha obviously agar wo kisi bhi ghar pe jayega aur bolega please mujhe aaj raat ko rehne ki jagah dijiye what will that person say they will say nahi 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 please aap kahin aur chale jaiye how many of us will obviously entertain an unknown person or a stranger in our house if somebody comes and tells you they please raat ko rehne dijiye hum denge kya shayad nahi so most of the time people would not entertain him but that evening he was very surprised because the man the old man who opened the house not only entertained him welcomed him very important this is he also cooked porridge for him porridge is some food that we cook in uh, wheat like agar normal hindi mein bole to dalia okay dalia cook karke diya usko so he cooked porridge for him he after having the supper of porridge he gave him a big tobacco roll for smoking after that he also played a card game called miaulis so he was very kind he was very generous he was very hospitable i'm using these words with the hope that you will understand these words and use these words in your exam so he gave him food he gave him smoking uh, tobacco for smoking and he also pay, played card game miaulis with him now not only that the man was also generous with his confidences iska kya matlab hai this is on page 33 only the old man was just as generous with the confidences as he was with his porridge and tobacco uske baad usne apna jo bhi secret i should not say as such means पर्सनल लाइफ के बारे में जो भी इंफॉर्मेशन था ही शेयर विद हिम ही सेड दैट आई वॉज अ क्रॉफ्टर आई वर्क इन रैमसो आयरन मिल्स क्रॉफ्टर इज अ मैन हु वर्क इन द फील्ड ओके सो ही वॉज अ क्रॉफ्टर ही सेड एंड ही वर्क इन रैमसो आयरन मिल ये नाम उनको याद रखना है चिल्ड्रन बिकॉज रैमसो आयरन मिल बाद में अभी फिर से आएगा सो ये रैम्स जो आयरन वर्क जहां पे वो काम करता था उनको याद रखना है but then he said that now i cannot work there because he has become old so what does he do he has a cow and that cow gives him quite a lot of milk he sells the milk in the dairy in the creamer and he earns sufficiently you know like that for him to is a lonely man so it gives him enough money to survive one more thing i will inform you over here he was a lonely man okay and he did not have any children or wife 
he was a lonely man and that is the reason he entertained him he was happy to get somebody to talk to that is what i'm coming to now now uh, after saying that he has earned uh, quite a lot of money last month he told him that you know i earned 30 kronor now kronor is a swedish currency so he said i have earned 30 kronors not only that as if he would not believe him as if he was incredulous ye yeah, pe word hai uh, same page uh, 33 at the end, incredulous means not believing, disbelieving. As a ki he is not believing ki how can he earn 30 kronos by selling milk? What did he do? He went near the window, a leather pouch was hanging from it. He took out 30 kronos and he showed him as a I have earned 30 kronos. Okay, so now we can think this is a little strange. Because he was an unknown man, okay, chalo, he was kind and generous, he was lonely, he wanted to talk to somebody. So he gave him shelter, he gave him food also, he played card also, so he also had a nice evening. But why did he have to share about his money? Not only that, that he only told, he also showed him the money. So this was a little too much or I would say a little unwise gesture from the man. He should not have trusted, you know, an unknown stranger. But at the same time, if you trust somebody, is it always imperative that that person will uh, shatter your trust or break your trust or betray you? Ye bhi to sahi nahi hai. In case the um, this crofter, the old man, trusted him, he was a little open because he was alone so one day he got to meet him so he, you know, kind of whatever he told him, he told him he forgot where he should stop he, whatever, you know, he just poured out his heart to him now let's see in return of this what the uh, rat trap seller does to him after this, they went to bed. In the morning, they both got up. This man went uh, to his work, like for milking his cow and all. And uh, the rat trap seller told him, thank you for the nightly shelter. And he also walked off. Take it. After half an hour, the rat trap seller comes back. He doesn't go near the door. He goes near the window. He smashed the window pane. He broke the glass. He put his hand inside. He took out that leather pouch. He stole that 30 kronors and Aram say carefully he put that uh, leather pouch inside the room hanging in the that uh, window and he walked away. This is the reward he gave to the man's kindness, his generosity, his hospitality and the trust that he had imposed on him. Okay? He betrayed his trust. He is a greedy person. Okay, He is an ungrateful person. And he, uh, you know, did not feel any uh, regret or repentance after stealing him. On the contrary, it categorically bataya gaya hai story mein, page 34 mein, ki he was very happy with his smartness. Ki, wow, so smart I am, I robbed him and he was not even able to understand it. Okay. Next, he decided to walk away. Obviously, he usko abhagna tha jaldi se jaldi so that he is not caught by police. Then he decided to walk through the forest because if he walked through the main uh, door, I mean main uh, road, then he would be easily caught by the police. Okay, because after some time this man will come back, he will see that his money is stolen and he will report it to the police. He will say the man uh, with a rat trap, uske gale mein na, aise tanga tha, rat trap. he would hang the rat traps on his neck. And he had long beard and as I told you, uh, dirty uh, torn clothes. So, he easily usko police pakar leta. So, what he did, he started walking through the forest. He wanted to escape from that place as fast as possible. But something else was destined for him. As he started walking through the forest at night, then me tha. Finally, in the evening, he realized that he has lost his way. Because forest may as a straight proper asta to hote nahi hai. As a, you have to kind of you there is a chance of uh, getting lost very easily. So finally he realized that he is moving as a bar 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 tha. And he has lost his way in the forest. Then for the first time, he regrets over here, oh God, why did I steal that money? 
30 kronors and now today I myself am trapped in the rat trap जो दूसरों के लिए सोचता था वो खुद ही आज उस rat trap पे trapped था and he was not able to come out of the forest it was dark it was winter because this is 22nd 23rd December का time है ये Christmas की time है हम बताएंगे आगे so it was very cold it is Sweden it is very dark it is very cold so and he was hungry he was tired 24 hours he didn't have anything so finally he gave up and he collapsed okay वही पे वो गिर गया almost he was almost uh, kind of out of his senses but somehow as he collapsed his head touched the ground aise. so he could hear some vibrations and noise okay aisa lag raha tha ki kahi pe kuch hammering noise aa raha tha and he immediately understood as i told you that this part of sweden had a lot of iron factories and he was aware of it so he understood that there is an iron mill nearby or wo jo hammering ka awaz aa raha tha jo thumping ek awaz aa raha tha wo iron mill ka jo anvil hai uska awaz anvil kya hai iron mill mein there have some they will have some you know iron uh, sorry uh, fire where they will put the iron and they put that uh, uh, hammer huge hammer to get the desired shapes plate banana hai koi bhi shape dena hai to yase usko thok thok ke hammer de kar kar ke they would make so he could understand that then he mustered courage okay he again gathered his courage or strength also because he was very tired aur wo awaz ko sunte sunte chase karte karte he reached the iron mill ओके नाउ ये कौन सा आयरन मिल था वही आयरन मिल था जिसमें क्रॉफ्टर काम करता था पहले आई टोल्ड यू वील हैव टू रिमेंबर द नेम रैम्स जो आयरन मिल he reached there and the time when the story is about that time iron this ramsjo iron mill was a very famous iron mill na usme se bahut iron production hota tha har jagah jata tha din bhar raat bhar usme iron production hota tha so it was a big name that time as he reached though it was night but work was going on as i told you 24 hour it was manufacturing or working so he went there and he entered the iron factory and he went near the fire and he uh, tried to sleep okay he uh, laid flat over there and he tried to sleep the iron uh, blacksmith was there he didn't bother because he bought a common cheese tha that uh, many travelers homeless people would come to the forge to the iron mill at night for shelter so there can be a small question why was the blacksmith not surprised to see the traveler or the iron uh, the rat trap peddler you have to say because it was very common often such people would uh, seek nightly shelter in the mill it was a common uh, kind of event tha. now what happened after some time the owner of the iron mill came to the iron mill why he wanted to come for some visit from nightly inspection ki kaam theek se chal raha hai ki raat ko sab so gaye band karke so he came for his nightly inspection so here we get another character third character who again doesn't have a name we will call him as the iron master okay iron master means the owner of that iron mill now as the iron master came he saw that a stranger was lying over there and sleeping so he immediately went near him uh, the rat trap seller was lying with his hat on his face as he moved away so he removed the hat to know ki ye kaun hai who is he and the moment he removed something very uh, unexpected happened okay what happened he said oh nails all off how how you have become like this you have the uh, things have deteriorated for you oh my god you look so bad so it seemed as if the iron master knew the rat trap seller he called him nils olof ab ye kya hai now try to understand this is a completely a case of mistaken identity the rat trap seller is not nils olof but by some uh, you know kabhi kabhi lagta hai aise koi chehra mein se mila deti tha yeah we have to understand one thing uh, two things very important <laughs> that is his look see the rat trap had rat trap seller had long beard aise gande unkempt long hair okay so half of the face was covered with beard and hair 
okay and secondly there was no electric light he saw him at night in the light of the forge in the light of the fire so he mistook him usko laga unko ki this is nils olof abhi nils olof hai kon nils olof was one of his regimental comrade we will remember this word regimental comrade means his old acquaintance from the army his friend for uh, from the army the iron master was in the army nils olof was also in the army original nils olof theek hai aur iron master had retired or resigned jo bhi hai unhone chhod diya tha army and uske baad nils olof had left but this is not nils olof wo koi aur tha ye koi aur hai but unko aisa laga ki ye shayad nils olof hai and now see the thing is uh, the rat trap seller did not say also ki no 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 i am not nils olof he should have said na ki no this is you are wrong i am not nils olof on the contrary he said yeah things have gone downhill with me what is the meaning of downhill deteriorated declined worsened so he said yeah things have gone downhill with me a question will come over here again short question that uh, why did uh, the rat trap seller not reveal uh, to the iron master ki he was not nils olof because he thought that the iron master will help him with some money okay he will be kind or he will be you know feeling pity for him and he will be giving him some money or wo to tha hi greedy we know he had stolen the crofter abhi kuch ghanto pehle so he thought that he will give us money give me money so let me not say that i am not nils olof okay but aisa bilkul hi nahi hua then kya hua now the iron master told okay okay now you get up and you don't have to lie in the forge like this you be my guest come to my house the christmas is nearby kal parso christmas hai you come to my house and we will enjoy christmas together now the problem was nils olof i mean uh, the uh, this one the rat trap seller he was not nils olof a uh, initially they told you ki he did not protest the thinking he would give some money but abhi uske ghar chale jana is too much so he protested he said no 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 i will not go to your house he protested vehemently he repeatedly requested and he repeatedly protested now question will come that why he did not accept the invitation of the iron master very important question very obvious number 1 the iron master was inviting him as nils olof he was not nils olof number 2 which is more important that he had stolen the 30 kronors and he was in the same locality kyunki wo bhag to nahi paya tha hai na wo he was trapped in the forest only so he is in that nearby place only where the crofter was so he did not want to stay there he wanted to run away as fast as possible so for these two reasons he did not accept the invitation of the iron master iron master ko ye samajh mein nahi aaya unko ye laga ki he is embarrassed because of his pathetic condition uh, torn clothes he is poverty stricken he is hungry as i we know his description so he thought that maybe he was embarrassed so he told him ki don't be embarrassed my wife is dead my sons are working outside i live alone with my only daughter only my one daughter is there oldest daughter is there so we two are there nothing to be embarrassed you come to my house bas uska problem to alag tha wo embarrassed nahi tha wo dara hua tha he wanted to escape because neither he was nils olof secondly he was a thief he has stolen the 30 krona so in spite of repeated requests uh, he did not accept his invitation okay so the iron master left next what happens very important after half an hour his daughter comes to the iron mill to take him home okay the iron master now had sent his daughter okay he has not yet given up so the daughter came now who is the daughter name of the daughter is given out of the four important characters only the name of this girl is given why because she is a unique character baki jo teen characters are they are very common people like the rat trap seller bahut hai people like the crofter who 
इज हेल्पफुल और हु इज काइंड और जेनरस ऐसे लोग भी मिलते हैं द पीपल राइट द आयरन मास्टर हुज यू नो काइंडनेस इज कंडीशनल वाई कंडीशनल मैं बताऊंगी अभी आफ्टर यू नो वन और टू मिनट्स सो ऐसे लोग भी है बट द पर्सन लाइक एडला इज यूनिक सो इसीलिए हर नेम हैज हर कैरेक्टर हैज अ नेम she came and in the same way she came he she put uh, that uh, hat with which uh, he was sleeping on his face she removed that hat and the rat trap seller you know he had learned to sleep with one eye open this is a line from the text learned to sleep one eye open means he was alert always alert because he was never sleeping in his own house wo kabhi kisi ke ghar pe kabhi kisi ke garage mein kabhi kisi ke backyard mein sota tha kabhi wo chori bhi karta था तो वो हमेशा बहुत अलर्ट रहता था कि कोई आ ना जाए कोई पकड़ ना ले टाइप्स सो ही इमेजिएटली गॉट अप एंड द गर्ल द मोमेंट द गर्ल सो हिम वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द गर्ल अंडरस्टूड टू थिंग्स नंबर वन that he was वेरी अफ्रेड हिज माइंड हिज फेस शोड दैट फियर शी अंडरस्टूड दैट दिस मैन इज वेरी अफ्रेड नंबर टू what did she understand she understood that either he is a thief or he is a run away criminal run away prisoner a prisoner who has run away from the prison now and we can understand she is so correct something that her father being a wise and experienced and aged did not understand this girl understood that he is afraid and either he is a prisoner or a run away convict or he is a thief which is very correct so she told him very important she told him that please come to our house for this christmas enjoy the christmas and enjoy the festivity of christmas and i am assuring you very important i am assuring you that you will leave the house as freely as you entered means what you will not be handed over to the police nothing of that sort will happen just the way you are entering our house we will allow you to leave our house freely now this is the assurance that he was asking for okay so somehow he felt confidence in the girl usko kahin na kahin laga that this girl is truth uh, true she had that truthfulness on her face that sincerity so he felt confidence in the girl and he decided to go to the house of the iron master the manor house so they started they went there as he was going again he felt that maybe i have made a wrong decision maybe i will be trapped in the rat trap again from where there is no escape for the second time usko ye regret hua that why did i steal that 30 kronors okay but he went he could not refuse uh, the request of the girl kahin na kahin usko us pe bharosa hua so he went to the house of the iron master now the iron master and the girl were very happy because at least they would be able to help a poor acquaintance who was an old friend and old regimental comrade who was in a pathetic uh, poverty stricken condition koi sa bhi reason se ho he had become so poor so they were happy to provide him some food the iron master also said that let us provide him with some good work okay some profession selling rat traps is not suitable for an army man so in the meantime uh, as they were discussing in the meantime the rat trap seller came because he was taken inside uh, to you know uh, to be bathed or to be cleaned to be cut his hair to shave so now after some time after you know taking proper uh, bath and all that he comes out the moment he comes out something very obvious happened what was it now the iron master understood that ye to nils olog hai nahi ye to koi aur hai because now he is cleanly shaven his hair was cut he was he had bathed he was wearing a nice shirt and pant and suit and shoes of the iron master who completely was a different person so he shouted that what is this you get lost from my house or moreover he said that i will hand you over to the police because you have cheated me you come to my came to my house as nils olog now the man said see it's not like that now he gave a very dramatic speech he said that see iron master maybe today i was tempted to come to your house 
the world is a big rat trap today i am tempted to come to your house for food and shelter but aisa ho sakta hai it might happen one day that one day you will be trapped in the rat trap maybe you are a rich person for you the temptation will be bigger so you will also be trapped in the rat trap and you will also uh, you know regret that day so when he said that the rat trap uh, sorry the iron master was very amused because he had never expected such a philosophical speech from that uh, you know wretched uh, i that uh, rat trap seller so he was very amused he was shocked and he laughed is it okay fine i will not hand you over to the police but you immediately leave my house now what happened now edla came edla said no we have invited him today and he will enjoy the christmas with us she said that see this man somehow she understood okay she said that see this man the whole year he moves from one place to the other no where he is welcome so i want him to enjoy one day only one day in the whole year to enjoy over here okay and it is we who welcomed him we who promised him christmas cheer i know it was a case of mistaken identity we thought that he was nils olof but never mind let him be there with us and let him enjoy the spirit the enjoyment the food the cheer of christmas okay because we only invited him we only forced him now we will only chase him away of the house this is not right so let him enjoy one day now at this the man the rat trap seller was very shocked very surprised that why in the world is she being so kind because now she knows that he is not captain von steel why i am using the word captain von steel because neil zolov ka jo proper pura naam tha along with his you know proper uh, proper real name is good name whatever you can say proper name was captain von steel so we have to call him by that only so he she knew that this is not captain von steel but still why is uh, she entertaining me so the man was very very deeply touched now he stayed in uh, there only for christmas or the day it was uh, one day before christmas christmas eve that is 24th december the whole day he slept and slept and slept why did he sleep because he has never got such a peaceful and comfortable place in his whole life he was always chased away I, just as we know very well so that was the first time he got a place where he was secured he was comfortable he was at peace so he was sleeping the whole day he would get up have some food again go to sleep now in the evening when he was uh, woken up he went near the christmas tree and they were uh, exchanging gifts for christmas and good wishes for christmas he thanked everybody and the girl that is edla told him that this dress that you are wearing you don't have to return this is your christmas gift number 1 number 2 is more important she said that if you want next year you can come back to us on 25th december that is on christmas and enjoy a day or two of christmas joy christmas cheer and rest in peace you don't have to be kind of being chased away or roaming here and there in the street you come here and have uh, the christmas uh, festivity with us now the man was literally amazed boundless amazement he was overwhelmed he did not know that why this girl is being so good unconditionally good now a question that is very important over here that is see even the crofter was good but he was good because he was lonely he wanted human company number one the iron master was also good but the moment he came to know that he was not his old regimental comrade he was not captain von steel he wanted to hand him over to the police he told him to leave the house but this girl in spite of being aware of his actual nature his uh, condition he, his status he st- she was still being so kind and respectful towards him so the man was very very deeply shocked moved i should say 
Now what happened next day was Christmas. The daughter and the father went to the church. But as they came back, they were very upset. Father was very angry because they got to know from the church that uh, the crofter was robbed of 30 kronors by a rat trap seller or who can So the father was very angry. He, See, I told you not to entertain that man. He must have stolen some silver items, some uh, crockeries or cutleries and he must have would run away. So they come home fast. The girl was very upset because though she was kind of anticipated, but still she was very upset to know that he really was a thief. Now, as they came back home, something else happened. What was it? Yes, he had left, but he did not steal anything and leave. On the contrary, he had left a present for the girl, that is for Edla. He had told the valet that this is a gift, Christmas gift for Edla. So Edla opened it. What was it? Number one, there was a rat trap. Number two, the 30 kronors, 310 kronor bills were lying. Number three, there was a letter, a beautiful letter that he had written uh, the girl. He wrote in the letter that, uh, my dear miss, you have been so kind to me and you behaved as if I am a real captain. So I want to remain as a real captain to you and I don't want you to be embarrassed. So take this 30 kronors, give it back to that crofter, to that old man who has money pouch hanging in the window, give it back to him. And you, it was you, your goodness, your love, your compassion, your kindness that gave me the strength to come out of the rat trap. So this rat trap is for you because now I am no more a rat who's trapped in the rat trap. Okay. And he signed as Captain Von Stale. So now I'll tell you some questions which are related to this and I will discuss the questions. Before that, let's understand the story. So uh, we have understood that this man underwent a transformation because of Edla, because her unconditional love, understanding, kindness, now he completely changed. Now the question that comes in our uh, mind that why did he sign as Captain Von Stale? Very important, very important question. He was not Captain Von Stale, he was an unknown peddler whose name we don't know. He signed as Captain Von Stale because he, uh, Edla treated him as a captain. So he wanted to remain a captain, means he wanted to discard his, uh, you know, there's a tramp-like qualities, his dishonesty, his uh, immorality, you know, his greed, he wanted to give it away. And he wanted to remain as a captain, means, a captain means what? A virtuous, honest, truthful, courageous, he wanted to remain that. So, Edla ke liye to hai hi, baki uh, like for the others and in his own life he wanted to remain as a captain because he was treated as a captain number two very important why did he give that rat trap very clearly it is written in the letter that he was no more trapped in the rat trap rat trap of what of greed okay of immorality of temptation he was trapped in that rat trap so now edla gave him the courage to free himself so now he was no more a rat trapped in a rat trap so the rat trap tha, it was a symbol of his freedom symbol of his emancipation from the rat trap so now he was a free man he was a better person he was a changed person and he was a virtuous captain okay so with this we come to the end of the story Abhi sick questions kya kya aenge chute chute questions that I've told you very one very important question will be definitely character of Edla and her contribution in the story very 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 important question as we can understand so Edla's kindness generosity goodness unconditional this word is very important 
बाकी दो लोग भी काइंड थे बट देयर काइंडनेस वॉज कंडीशनल एट लास्ट वॉज अनकंडीशनल सो दैट ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड हिम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ डिड द पेडलर चेंज हिज वे इज मोर ऑल इज सेम आंसर बिकॉज ऑफ एडला ओनली एडलास काइंडनेस गुडनेस हेल्प हिम टू चेंज हिज वे इज हाउ द थ्री पर्सन आर डिफरेंट आई हैव डिस्कस्टेड कि कैसे तीनों के काइंडनेस डिफरेंट है तो दैट अगेन कैन कम दैट हाउ द थ्री पर्सन वर डिफरेंट इन दैर कैरेक्टर now human beings are lonely and they want human company how is it projected through the story it is through the crofter he was also lonely iron master also wanted some uh, companionship during christmas okay and the rat trap seller with good company he to changed only he transformed completely so companionship is required in life human uh, beings cannot lead a lonely life okay so these are the questions there are some questions at the back of the book children they are all very very important so uh, we have to uh, learn all the answers and as i always do i am giving you the value points over here okay so we have to do is let me i'm just seeing in case i missed any question that i told you ha one question is important which uh, i told you initially but usko thoda se elaborate karenge that that rat trap the title as a metaphor okay the title as a metaphor ओके टाइटल तो पता है रैट ट्रैप नाउ वी नो द सिंबॉलिक मीनिंग आल्सो द रैट ट्रैप इज द सिंबल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वेयर ऑल ऑफ अस आर ट्रैप्ड लाइक अ रैट व्हेन वी आर चेजिंग सम टेम्पटेशन नाउ वी हैव टू से विथ रेफरेंस टू द रैट ट्रैप सेलर क्योंकि जितने भी कैरेक्टर्स हैं चार कैरेक्टर्स हैं उसमें से हु इज द पर्सन हु इज ट्रैप्ड इन द रैट ट्रैप the rat trap seller himself only we don't see the crofter or the iron master or edla trapped in the rat trap so that question can also come that though he only talks about others falling in the rat trap but he himself is uh, trapped in the rat trap theek hai so ye bhi question aa sakta hai value based question is pe se bahut probable hai children board mein and uh, what kind of question will come they can give a direct line you know kind of a sentence like true kindness and generosity uh, can awaken goodness in every human being full stop elaborate with the help of the chapter okay so like this question can come value based question okay i hope you have enjoyed the chapter you like the video and so please give your comments please share it with all your friends and thank you and happy learning